There are 12 outstation communities in which the Catholic faith has been established in the East Gonja municipality. We have two other institutions, that is the Salaga Senior High School and the Baby Nursing and Midwifery Free Training College, where we also do pastoral. Population. Since the inception of the parish, 5,033 persons have been baptized. 2,024 persons have been confirmed and 250 marriages have been solemnized in church. We have a number of persons who are following a teaching for Christian initiation in the main parish in all the 12 outstations and in the two schools where we carry out primary evangelization. Evangelization. Through evangelization for these 61 years of existence, the Our Lady of Fatima Parish has produced three diocesan priests, namely Father Joseph Sukade from Katanga, an outstation, and he ministers in Gendi Diocese. Father Moses and Seminary Yard from Jamboy, Christ the King Parish, and he is for the High Diocese of Tamar. Father Clement Majid Bakari from Pengi, and he works for the Tamango Diocese. The Our Lady of Fatima Parish has also produced one religious sister by name Agnes Sey from Salaga here with the Sisters of Mary Immaculate, one for Mati for the SMI congregation by name Sister Juliana Fogino from Jolotto, and one by Sister Seminary Emmanuel Milima from Pugodo. He is under formation for the high dice. Education. The parish has also established primary and junior high schools in Salaga and its surrounding villages for formal education. We have 11 schools, namely St. Anthony Nursery Primary and Junior High School, Good Shepherds Primary and Junior High, Kulpi Primary and Junior High, Makango, Aujako, and Sal. Health. Healthcare centers also includes formerly of Kairisu and another in the parish premises here, just outside there. Spirituality. By way of enriching the lives of the faithful in the parish, we have the Eucharist celebrated in the main parish every day. We do the opportunity to all the outstations to each have mass every week. Other activities. There are other activity groups in the parish, such as Christian Mothers and Fathers Association, the St. Teresa of the Child Jesus Society, Knights and Ladies of the Altar, the Catholic Charismatic Renewal Group, the Parish Choir, the Catholic Youth Organization, and the various ethnic groups that make a blend of the multicultural image of the parish family. Their weekly and monthly programs add some weight and flesh to their spiritual growth and faith. In conclusion, we have the Parish Pastoral Council, the Parish Lady Council, other committees in the parish, the Sisters of Very Margaret, two trained captives and other animators who support the two priests and the evangelization process in the faith of Christ. In the faithful of Christ in the Our Lady of Fatima Parish. Your Excellency, Your Grace, we are glad to have you in our parish today for this pastoral visit. You are most welcome to the Our Lady of Fatima Parish, Salaga, and we say, Ansekiba, may you now lead us in this interesting celebration. Thank you.
Apostle Peter's confession of faith, travel Lord Jesus Christ with some colleagues and friends with him the angel of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. I exalt the elders among you as a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ as well as a partaker in the glory that is to be revealed. Tend the flock of God that is your charge, not by constraint but willingly, not for shameful gain but eagerly, not as domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd is manifested, you will obtain the unfading crown of glory. The word of the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures, where he gives me repose. Near restful waters, he leads me, he revives my soul. You have prepared a table before me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. Yes, and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell for length of days unending. I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it.
the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do men say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon bar Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hate shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Blessings and greetings of Pope Francis. I carry it as his representative to your beautiful country. I cordially thank His Grace, Most Reverend Archbishop Philip Namek, for the invitation to your parish. I greet Reverend Father Nerius Dongenu, the parish priest, parish priest with his collaborator and seminarian. I am greeting everybody of you one by one. Today's feast, a uh, special feast which reminds us the strength bonds which exist between every Catholic and successor of St. Peter Pope. Holy Father is a symbol of unity of the Catholic and whole world. That when we praying, when we are celebrating the, the sacraments, we should thinking that we are not alone, but we are the part of this biggest, this big community which name is Roman Catholic Church. When a husband says to his wife, I love you, there can be a lot of truth in the world. There may be some truth in the world, world, and it can also be quite empty. Similarly, when I join the Apostle Peter and say to the Lord, Jesus, you are the Christ, the Son of living God. My profession of faith in Christ can be full of truth, 
there can only be a little truth in it, and my declaration of faith can also be completely empty. After all, it cannot be said that someone who does not attach importance to driving from the sources of his grace, who does not have the habit of listening to the teaching of the gospel, who rarely comes to Sunday Mass and hardly receives the sacraments, believes in the Lord Jesus completely to the end. Similarly, it cannot be said that someone deeply believes in the Lord Jesus if he does not fully obey his commandments, if unlike the Lord Jesus he sees the principles of conjugal morality or the attitude towards enemies. St. Peter confessed his faith. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God, with a truly warm heart. I turned out, it turned out, however, that even Peter's faith did not stand the test of life and on Good Friday it collapsed. May today's gospel inspire me to a healthy anxiety about whether my faith in Christ is authentic in everything and to the end. Jesus, I believe in your heart, but only you alone can give me this grace to believe in you truly with all my heart. We have heard in today's gospel that the Lord Jesus gave Peter the keys of his kingdom that he ever told him. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and what you lose on earth will be lost in heaven. The Lord Jesus did not speak empty words. If he said such words to Peter, he undoubtedly bestows on Peter and then on his successors special gifts of the Holy Spirit so that each of them may be an authentic and infallible instrument of his will. After all, it is these words that express these war words that whatever you be on earth will bound in heaven. Faith is not only our private and personal matter. It also has a community dimension. If this were not the case, Jesus would not have gathered disciples and would not have founded the church. Faith also, sometimes we can also misunderstand this responsibility and make mistakes. In this regard, I will tell you a story that similarly happened for real. Once upon a time, Felix Mendelssohn Bartholdy, which lived in the 19th century, and outstanding German composer, author of, among other things, the famous wedding march, once visited one of the most famous cathedrals in Europe, known for its priestless historic organ. After listening to the old organist, he asked him if he could play them. The organist, who didn't know the composer, replied that it was not customary for strangers to play this organ. Despite everything, the musician began to play. The church was filled with music that the old organist had never heard in his life. In a touched voice, he asked, Who are you? Mendelssohn was the answer. The standard organist then said loudly, 
And to think that an old fool like me was foreign Mendelssohn from playing my organ. The example of this organ is show that it is necessary to be able to discern and make the right choices for the sake of the church. We have come from the Catholic Church, the Nuncio, that is, the one who represents the Pope here in Ghana. He has found time to visit the church in the Tamale Archdiocese. He has come with the Archbishop to greet the Pembubra. You're welcome. Thank you. Very much. Uh, the whole representative of the Pope is here. Then we have to receive a powerful prayer before we go with anything. You're welcome. Almighty God, we ask for your blessing for His Majesty, His family, His people, who is rule. Give Him strength, good health, and wisdom. Bless Him. Give him a long years of life that he can realize in his life your will. The blessing, your blessing, come upon these people, this heart that will grow in happiness and in wealth. and peace, that to live in peace, it is 
hertz is not uh, enough to tolerate each other, but we need to have the brother's love. Because with love, it's mean when we like the good things for others, we can realize not only good for this person, this group of person, but also for, for us. And your beautiful country is characterized that there are a lot of many, many tribes, many, many leaders, and it's important that uh, we can, like Catholic Church, collaborate with you in building common home, which will be home of peace and love for everybody. How we know the Catholic Church from the beginning in Ghana started not only the religious mission, but also social mission, building the schools, hospitals, clinics, which are open not only for Catholics, but for everybody. And uh, we would like to continue this, this mission in brotherhood. How you know? We are minority. But minority which loves all of you, all citizens of your beautiful country. And this is the message that uh, of brotherhood that the Holy Father would like to transmit to His Majesty that together it's possible to build a new and better world. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 